Tina. Let's draw. Everybody. And here we are once again we're going to draw a cartoon character. My name is Tina and once again I like to start off with a circle. Remembering that a circle is an indication where the different parts of the body are going to go. Pencils to the ready and off we go. We're going to move down here we're going to put in a circle for the head. Then we're going to go down and put it in a, like a jelly bean for the tummy. Leaving a gap, we're going to put a squash circle here and another one over there. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a circle here, that's for one hand, and then there we have another one. Now, before we go further, I'm going to join up these so you can see where we're going. Curve line here and a curve line there for the neck. We're going to put on the arm, bring it out and around and stop it just there. This one is telling that the arm is out to the side. Moving down here, we're going to have one leg and then the, uh, with the inside and the outside of the leg. And then this one here, we have one and there's the other one. Okay, so already you can begin to see our cartoon character come together here and the pose which he's in. So starting up the top, because we want to get the scent of our character's face to find out where his nose is. Starting up the top, we have N for North. Down the bottom, we have the slippery slide, we have the South Pole. Over here, we have the Windy West. And here, we have the East Side. With our pencils, once again, keep them nice and light. We're going to do a broken line from the north all the way down to the south pole, like so. Off you go. And from the windy west all the way across to the east side. Where the two lines meet becomes the centre of our character's face and that's where we find our nose. Now I'm going to change my black felt tip pen. You hold on to your pencils. Are you ready? Here we go. Where the two lines meet we're going to put it on the nose. Just above the nose, we're going to have the eyes. There's one, and there's the other one. Inside the eyes, we have the pupils. There's one, and there's the other one. So already you can begin to see the cartoon character's features coming out. Across from the nose, we have the ears. There's one, and there's the other. Now, I always like to start at the top and move down. And this cartoon character is wearing a hat. Now we're going to put on the rim of the hat. Watch this, bring it out and around. Let it go down behind the head and stop it just there. Now we're going to put on the, the top hat. There's one. And then we have this one that comes up this way. We bring a curve line across, and of course he has a little bit of the hat sticking out. Look at that. It's like the top of the hat, but there's a flap on it. We can put in another little bit of feature here. It's like an old cap. And not forgetting, they always have a ribbon around it. Moving down, we're going to start off with the fringe. We're going to start off up, down, up, down for the hairline. There's one. And there's the other. And just stop it at above the ears. Now we're going to do the outside of the hair and we're going to bring it out. Look at that. There's one. And there's the other. Moving down, we're going to put in the eyebrows. There's one. And there's the other. And we were saying about the facial expressions. The eyebrows help with the facial expressions. Now we're going to put in the reflection of the light. There's one little circle and there's the other. And with your pencils, you can shade that in. And although your cartoon character is flat on the page, once you put the reflection of the light in, they appear to be alive like you and I. Hello. Oh, you can't talk yet. You have no mouth. Cross, we have the ears. There's one. We have the little squiggly bit in there and there's the other one. Okay. 
Now we're moving down here, and this cartoon character has a big smile on his face. Look. We're going to have it open, bring it back up, and stop it just there. And once the mouth is open, you can see his little tongue inside. And with your pencil, you're going to shade in there, and that tells us that the mouth is open. Now these uh, little fellows always like to paint a big smile on their faces. Have you guessed what it is? That's right, it's a little clown. Now we're going to do the bottom of his head there, follow that all the way around and back up and stop it just there. Now clowns wear funny collars, don't they? There's one, bring it around. And there we have it. I want to show where the tip of the neck is, look at that. There we go. Now we're going to follow this arm out here. We're going to bring it down and stop it just there. And then we're going to put in the inside of his arm. But first of all, what do you think he's holding in his hand? Oh, look, he's holding onto a flower. Now we're going to put the shirt in, the sleeve of the shirt, there we go. And then his hand goes around the flower, see that? Now we're on to the other one. We're going to bring it up here, curve line up, and stop it just there. The same on this side, bring that up, and stop it just there. And the reason why I stopped it there is to put on the cuff of a shirt. Because they usually have some tricks up their shirts, don't they? Shirt sleeves. Here we go, cocktail sausage for the thumb. Then we have one little finger, two little fingers, three little fingers, and no more. Who's that knocking? At the door. Now we're moving down, and we're going to put in a curve line here, all the way across, and stop it just there. He's wearing some braces, so we're going to bring it over the shoulder, bring it down, and the braces to hold up his trousers. There's one. And goes in behind there, bring it down. And there's the other. Now the reason why they need that is because the trousers which they wear, they always seem to wear them so big. See they're going around the waist. Now we're going to bring it down and out the leg to the back of the shoe and bring it back up and stop it just there. Once again on this side, Trouser leg falls out, I'm going to bring it down, cross the shoe, bring it back up, and stop it just there. And now we're going to join the two of them together. Following the squash circle around, because they always like to exaggerate on the size of their shoes. They always appear to be too big for them, isn't that right? And of course then, the flower is part of his joke. And look at this. What do you think is coming out of the flower? That's right, water. Because they're all, always known for their little tricks, isn't it? They, put in the, they always have little stars or little circles on their shirts. Put in a few there and the same on that side. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put what, how did he get, where did he get the water from? Watch this. He has his bucket of water with him. And of course the bucket of water is made, here we go, out of wood. Follow that down. Okay, going to put him on the ground, so you're going to put in the horizon line. And what do you think is over here? A big ball. I wonder is he going to do some tricks on that? That adds the colour, look. It's like a big beach ball, isn't it? Okay. So here we have then with the, they are, we always find the clowns in the big toppers.
maybe a little puddle on the ground there. Look at that from the flower splashing out. Okay, now we're going to colour it in. And of course, when it comes to clowns, clowns love to have loads and loads of really bright colours, don't they? Yeah. So we're going to fill in blue for the water and on the ground and on the flower. And on the background here, I'm going to put in some yellow for the big topper, the tent. Bring it all the way down. Now you boys and girls, you'll have more time to bring, put this all together. And have it, there we go. Give a little bit of red. Bring it all the way down. We can have some purple. And all the time you can see us building up. Now we're going to colour in our character and he's really going to stand out now. Okay, and maybe put a bit of red on that side. And now we're going to colour in. And clowns love dressing up, don't they? And they love putting on um, real bright clothes. And I think that's to make sure that we draw attention to them. Because they love being the centre of attention. I'm going to put on his cap. Maybe I'll take a different purple. Different purple plume. I don't know what to do. It's dark, you see, for you and me. Don't remember this hat. And their hair is always like an orangey color. Yeah, they have orange. Let's see if I can find the orange. I have it. Here we go. Okay, nice red nose. And have a shiny, leave it blank in the middle, look at that. Then we have his trousers, we can put his trousers in red, look at that. And I'm using the side of the crane. Now you might, like I say before, you might have some twistables or some markers. Just be careful, you don't get markers everywhere. Crayons are grand. Well, I find them great. And there we have yellow for the center of the flower. We give him a nice green shirt, nice light one. Bring it all the way over in between the droplets. Look at that. Now I'll get a different color green and the different color green allows you to add in some shading. You know, see there, see the way that is? Around the trousers, underneath the elbow. See that? It's cool. And they always like to wear big red shoes. But I'm going to put two tone on this so that it can tell that one is further than the other. Here we go. Look at that. See that? One colour over the other. It's great. Same on that side. Now the bucket of water. We'll have a brown. Look at that. He looks so like he's having great fun there now. Bet all the boys and girls are laughing. Adding some shading there where he is and where the ball is and the bucket. See that? Brilliant. Um, I'm going to put in some orange down here for the sand because in the center of the ring. It's always made put a sand so that if anyone falls over, they only land on sand. Put in a little orange flower there, look at that. He looks as though he's having a really good time. His little tongue and his rosy cheeks. 
put in the band of his hat and the ball. Go with the shape of the ball, you see that? Well, there we go. Now you probably have more colours than Tina. You use up all your colours, okay? Down the bottom there is going to be darker. Bring it up. And there we have it. And uh, here we go. The tip of the ball here. Look at that, I'm going to put in a green. I'm shading it in. Now you have your favourite colours. Put in your favourite colours. Because that's what you like to use. Okay, and last but not least, we're going to put in the colour of his face. Um, put a little red. Now I know they usually paint their faces white, don't they? But we have a little colour here because he's just been dancing around. And there we have our little clown. Our little clown that is dancing around. And there, as you can see, boys and girls, our little dancing clown. So until the next time, Bye-bye.